Alright, let's go ahead and look at these decks really quick, too. Because I couldn't really hover to the cards before. So, Karash, we have the, uh... Go ahead and switch to... Sign. Let's see. A little mixed up. So we've got Death and Rebirth. Storm Charge Claw and... Uranami Storm for the specials. Got some regular movement going on here. Start the thing. Uh, so he's got Wind Run. He's got Slash. He's got Wisdom, which I think is. I'm curious to see the game plan for that. Vivacity, which is going to be solid against Tokyo. Um. Oh yeah, he's got a uh, interesting kind of setup where you can keep replaying various cards. That'll help him build his gauge faster, too. I think he's going to be ultimately going for uh, Vivacity with, with uh, Wind and Thunder. As his kind of gameplay. Uh, Vivacity is also an easy-to-use card during the uh, early stages, just to get you an extra gauge. Oh yeah, that's true. It gives you the gauge and the vigor, so it's like discarding and gaining the gauge. Kind of the same thing with the uh, Wisdom of the Gods, also. Okay, purple's already at the Aura Lock. Take a look at the deck really quick. Oops. Yeah, we've got the Final Blow, Eternal Migrant, and Ernami Storm. Both players running that. And kind of as usual with y Yurina Tokyo, you kind of have the... Uh... Well, he's got uh, actually a fair number of attacks. I was going to say, you... I kind of feel like you try and build around Glancing Strike with Tokyo in general, but that is almost just another Slash in this deck list. Is that a polite return in Purple's hand? Yes, he has a he has both his reactions: the polite return and the song and dance. Nice. And he's... So I think he can dodge basically every attack here. Okay, so here's the slash coming out from Karash. Um, polite return coming down to counter that. Crash taking it to life. Oh, so you guys, you guys just started. Uh, the match started. Okay, so I'm I'm, I'm on time. And then there's the brandish, which can get dodged by song and dance. Yep. Song and dance. Purple seems to be debating that. Or he could just take two to aura and then recover it again with song and dance. I think both options would be the same value-wise. Not sure. I guess this way he can... Well, you yeah, know, you're right. It's the same because he gets the vigor and the aura. He loses the flare that way, though. So I think he's actually a little bit better off dodging if he's planning that. And it puts him closer to it his desired range. Anyway. I guess I guess it does work a little bit better with Glancing Strike if you hold it, though, because then you can bigger action and then... Well, no, because you get... I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't play enough Tokyo, clearly. 
So we've got glancing in hand and slash. Looks like it's going to be a two life hit turn. For purple here. I think he's currently considering if he wants to play it this turn or save it for next turn. Right, because if he plays it this turn, he can't redraw it without taking an aura damage or or life damage, depending. Being able to save it and get it as your draw each turn on the next pass through the deck is pretty good. Oh, discarding it. Okay. I suppose going down to zero vigor when you have Song and Dance in your hand isn't that bad either, so... Okay, he moves forward to distance two, perhaps playing around that Urina 4-3 attack. Oh, yeah, the... I know what you're talking about. This also means Yurina will have to spend the Vigor to retreat instead of recovering Aora. Yeah, again, I feel like he would have been in a better position if he had just sung and danced back earlier. And then you get the... Well, he, he loses the Vigor, but... I believe Purple is running Rabbit Step, so maybe he's just thinking he's going to wait till he redraws that. Yeah. Okay, yep. So we're seeing the uh, redraw action here. Then with Claw of Regrowth, uh, Karash will be able to potentially redraw that slash twice on each pass through the deck. Okay. Saving the song and dance. I can I can respect that a bit here, considering all the player Karash is holding here. Mm -hmm. Is that in range? I don't think that's in range. He didn't. Did he vivacity it or something? But I no, I don't see that. He did not. Oh, okay, he's just going back and making sure he's got his gauges right. Yeah, that's right. Vivacity wouldn't even make it a further range. It would make it closer range. The zero to three, zero to two. Actually, no. Vivacity, right. vivacity doesn't affect specials, does it? Yeah. No. So it looks like purple currently has a one life advantage. And he manages to top deck the glancing strike off his first two draws. Yeah, that's pretty fortunate. 
So he could song and dance right now. Which would get him to range four with the glancing strike. Hmm. I was thinking, yeah, just getting to the two vigor is solid there. That uh, would mean losing the reaction, though. He could also play it to build aura and then rabbit step back and use his vigor to step. Oh wait, no, that would <laughs> that's convoluted and bad. Yeah, because then he would lose his two vigor anyway. So you could also do something weird like just rabbit step to range five here, and then it would be fairly hard for uh, Muncher to advance with. For aura. Yeah, I think the only way he could really do that at this point would be to pop his enhanced special just to burn his own aura, which is questionable at best. Okay, he takes the retreat action or backwards movement instead. Interesting. Not wanting to give up these cards. Yeah, this could be dangerous. Yeah, it's interesting. He could have also just moved up and then rabbit stepped. He had one more, or two more aura here. All right, no reactions. Okay, and then he discards the rapid step to recover. So, yeah, if he had just moved up with his vigor and then rapid step back, he would be strictly one better here. Hmm. Is that song and dance in his hand? That is song and dance in his hand, yes. Yeah, I, I guess he's ex expecting song and dance to save him then. That's no reason to, to waste resources, though. Uh, Strategic three aura. Vivacity's not going to do much for Karash here. Uh, he does have a slash, and he does have a deck built around taking things from his blade pile and putting them back on top, so we there's a good chance he'll play it this turn, but maybe not. No, he's just going to hold it. Yeah, just just get the resources. Yeah, no reason not to not to keep it, really. Unless you're like where he's gonna mortal flower you or something, but even then like Okay, now the reaction's coming out. No. Okay. It doesn't seem like too high of a value. Since purple doesn't have many attacks he was going to use anyways. Seems like there's some discussion going on. Oh, he moved on to the next turn. Oh, no, this is Purple's turn. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> now. Interesting to see these hands moving around without hearing any of the words. Muncher can choose to pay a bit from Aura here to free up more spaces to advance. It's a kind of weird to do that with the special, though, if you're playing it expecting a chain of attacks.
Good luck with explaining that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops, my nightlight like, came I, on. I thought that card was common. Like, I thought people knew what that card does already. I would have thought so, but I guess purple doesn't play against enough Ryra's or enough Ryra's who run that. Yeah. Or there could be. Some assertions coming from Karash or something. I, I, it's hard to know without the full context. Anyway, I think that dispute is settled. Um, it doesn't look like a shift has happened yet. Did he take meter? Because he's not supposed to take meter unless he shifts. Okay, there it is. What? What? All right, he takes it to life and then he goes forward. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And I think he gained a gauge off of that. Not sure. Yeah, I think he was at two wind, okay. if I recall correctly. Well, we can watch it back and see how wrong we are later. Oh, okay. Maybe that was an error then. Yeah, he he should have put the 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 pedal to shadow like it, like it is now. Yeah. All right. Purple moves forward. Again, playing around the throughout that doesn't actually exist, but is very threatening. Ooh, there's a lot of. A lot of attacks on his hand right now. Yeah, moving up close to Ryra is not always the safest idea. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But ideally, Ryra wants to play Yurina's attacks first. In order to get the charge. Oh, yeah. Well, in this case, he's already got the Thunder Charge. He just needs to... Up yeah, his wind yeah. gauge for it to resurge, which is going to be easy. Yeah, that's easy. Starts off of the 3 2 attack. That's going to be a lot of damage. Would yeah, you think... play the song and dance here? Yes. Yeah, I think normally you're better off leading with your two ones, but. And someone might I want mean, to yeah. remind Purple about the uh, bigger game. Maybe oh. he was expecting song and dance, and then that plays into a slash. Okay, next is the slash. Yeah. He moves forward again. Gets the gauge, hopefully, off of. Oh, yeah. Vivacity. There, there it goes. Yep. Vivacity and the slash. And here comes the 4-2 attack with no reaction normals. <laughs> Oof. That's rough. What's his other spe spe special? Uh, uh, they're both using Ernami Storm also. Oh, okay. Oh, looks like Purple was thinking about flipping that out. Oh, there it is. Yep. Wait, is he flipping that on the 2-1? No. No, no, no. There we go. Yeah. He just already played his claw of regrowth after that. Yeah. What was interesting? He went to life still, though. Sorry, Ming, what was that? 
That was a rather early uh, Nami storm. Yeah, but that's two life damage, so I guess that's it's probably fine. The thing with Yurina is you want to save it while you're at three or less life. Yeah, that's true. So you, so you, so you don't get finished and then the life damage early. And he's got the final blow to follow it up also, yeah. Did he take he took the aura damage from the Uranami, right? Uh yeah. No 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 the the he didn't uh He didn't? I don't think it did, did it, Mantra? I think he did. Okay. Yeah, it's all right, but it's five before. Oh, okay. Oh, another interesting thing. If purple plays a reaction attack, then Muncher is able to get the uh, death and rebirth proc if oh, he remembers yeah, yeah. it. Oh, that's true. Oh, really? This is how it's worked? Wow. Yeah, yeah, after. Because it is oh, attack so still. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a May. <laughs> purple, uh, <laughs> purple, you getting a little. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's stronger than I thought. <laughs> Yeah, like, I, I guess we could have let him misplay or forget about it. Well, my understanding is we're not supposed to coach people unless they are actively violating the rules. Yeah. And it is a May, so you're allowed to make that oversight. <laughs> <laughs> Just left. It's okay. To be honest, I don't even I don't know that as well since before we start talking about that. <laughs> Top us. Now this is kind of sad to a faithful hand of attacks, but definitely rebirth is still up. Mm. I mean, that's probably that's hardly consequential anyway. I think. Well, it just means that you're not going to get to play them all this turn, which play return. Well, he could forget about death and rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Westlord gone. No, oh, yeah, that was that was almost a no no. Yeah, that should have oh, researched. They remember yeah. the research now. So I don't think that Hilt Strike did too much there. Got Although him. it does cut down the aura a bit to set up for his final blow. And it gets him safely out of range of Art of Drawing. True. Although at this point, no, I guess he hasn't seen all the cards in the deck yet. He's got them copy pasted over here. So. Yeah. Discarding one to shuffle six. Okay, there's the five two attack and a wind run. Oof. Five two. Now uh, he has to be a bit careful about throwing out the five two attack here. Right, because if he does, he is going to die. Unless he somehow escapes the final blow range. Oh, well, yep, yeah, nope, that'll do it, because that's going to get him to five player uh, on the reshuffle. Yeah. That's, that's so does he have any right? way of dodging final blow now? No. Definitely rebirth is over. That's probably good. If he could get to range zero, but I don't think he can. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he can with Windburn, right? No, Windburn, you have to be at range three or greater. Oh, right, right, that's true. So only with so death and rebirth. Up. He does have he has the... he has Ernami Storm. 
He doesn't have the flair for it though. Flare, yeah. yeah, but he could he could build it up to the but then it, oh but then he loses enough aura. Yeah. That loses yeah. the aura. Yeah. Oh, that's so rough. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's over. It's this over. Is it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Final blow takes again. Takes it again. Wow. Oh, we we were a few instances where final blow works better than Tsukikage Crush here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Respect the purple for picking that over over Crush. It's cheaper, and you know that Ryra and Yorina are going to stay within range. <laughs> it's fleshier. Wow, that's whoa! Everybody, everybody's hype when Final Blow comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was just one more finger or one more basic action to dodge that. Like if he can uh, recover and focus, and then recover. Yeah. <laughs> Stealing the game. Wow. Yeah. It's rare to see final blows. Five life. Yeah. <laughs> exactly five life. life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you do, I guess. Yeah. Oh, he's playing Windrun. Doesn't really matter. Inconsequential, I think. I'm just trying yeah. to get as close as possible. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. No, we're yeah. just building our instead. <laughs> yeah, maybe play around Crush is all he can do, I guess. Yeah, Crush isn't quite as threatening as Final Blow here, but it would still be pretty bad. Pretty yeah, awful. I guess it, it's, it's... It's all he can play around, I guess. Is this where purple looks through their yeah. entire kit for reactions to final even, blow? Even if he doesn't have anything in hand and only two flare. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. What is the uh... no, storm? Is <laughs> storm is three flare, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, storm is three flare. So close and yet so far. Yep. Yeah, only one basic action. <laughs> Let's go. That's gonna close it out. Up. Oh, yep. uh, no, that's it. Three flare. That, that's that's, flare. that's just. Uh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> This might just be post game chatter here. Nope, there it goes. Not even putting it in the flare, it's just straight to shadow. That is cool. It's rare to see my number blur exactly on my HP. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up. Anyone, anyone want a closing comment here? Or? Oh yeah, there's the eternal yeah, migrant that didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very aggressive match here. Like a lot of attacks, a lot of attacks. Yeah, Tokyo running straight at that Ryra. Yep. But you know, Urena's on both sides, so it's kind of expected, I suppose. Yeah, the Urena that got to three li three life won. <laughs> what, a what a surprise. Yeah, I guess in the Urena mirror you want to be the first one to get to three life. Yeah. Take a few attacks, dubious attacks to life here and there. <laughs> pretend, pretend you misplayed. Yeah, pretend you're you're not holding song and dance.